Friends and family of attorney audits agitators, we are seeing some strange phenomenons in politics all across America and all across the world right now. But one thing that is really odd is sovereign citizens are running for office. I recently did an episode on a sovereign citizen who was on a civil service commission and he was bringing up Moorish sovereign citizen ideas. There's also a guy out in California named Joe Collins who's been a sovereign citizen and he's running for Congress. Now we have a woman down in Florida who's running for Congress who previously voted in favor of a sovereign citizen amendment. Okay, we're going to take a look at this article on the issue and then we're going to watch a video, actually a political ad, attacking this woman for her prior support of sovereign citizens. Uh, friends and family, the world gets stranger every day, but I'm here to bring you common sense. And if you want to figure out what's wrong with the sovereign citizen movement, oh, you know it. I'm going to plug my book, this book I wrote on sovereign citizens. Learn all about this movement. Grab your copy. There's a link in the description below. Before we watch this video, raise your cup, your glass, your favorite beverage in the air. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together. Diet Coke. All right, let's review this article. Okay, so we're going to read through this article, and then I'm going to show you the video and add some closing comments. You can see here, uh, this is the woman running for Congress. Her name is Donna Barcombe. The, the headline of the article is Fiona McFarland ad torches Donna Barcombe over sovereign citizens vote. The video recalls Barcombe's vote for a people's jury by Jacob Ogles published today. A Donna Barcombe, Sarasota County Charter Review Board vote may haunt her in a House campaign. Barcombe voted in favor of advancing a sovereign citizen charter amendment in 2015. That came despite concerns from the Anti-Defamation League and others that the movement behind the measure was responsible for killing officers and federal agents. Barcombe's chief opponent in the House District 72 Republican primary, Fiona McFarland, slams the vote in her new Ad. The fact that Donna voted to support an anarchist group that the FBI classified as domestic terrorists should be alarming to any Sarasota voter who cares about the well-being of our brave men and women in blue, said Marion Gergich. A McFarland spokesperson. The 60-second spot starts with footage of recent looting and riots that erupted during anti-police protests. A narrator then says to rewind back to 2015 to discuss the charter vote. Career politician Donna Barcombe is chairing a hearing on whether to amend the county charter to include representation from Sovereign Citizens, a known domestic terror organization. The narrator continues, the anarchist group notorious for killing cops, beating cops, kidnapping cops. Barcombe votes yes for the motion. We're going to take a look at that ad. Um, they describe the ad here. Um, da, 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 da. we're going to watch the ad ourselves, okay? The charter amendment in question was about creating people's common law juries, citizen groups empowered to bring charges, including against officials, without going through the state attorney's office. That's like the sovereign citizen dream, everyone. They just want to apply the law. They don't want elected officials or people trained in the law to apply the law. They just want to create their own laws. The vote at the time caused uproar among county commissioners who felt the Charter Review Board was stepping outside its responsibilities and into legislating. I don't even know what a Charter Review Board is, frankly. I've never heard of that. We don't have those in Pennsylvania as far as I know. The sovereign citizen movement is generally considered right-wing as opposed to left-wing groups like Black Lives Matter or Antifa that are tied to recent demonstrations. Vice in 2015 reported a man who fired into a Black Lives Matter rally may have been tied to the sovereign citizen movement. Barcombe's vote in support of a proposal from one anti-police group comes up days after she accused McFarland of being anti-police herself. 
This sounds like a good race, a good congressional race, friends and family. Barcom last week sent an email blast and text messages saying tying her opponent to calls for defunding the police after McFarland said Black Lives Matter at a Tiger Bay forum. McFarland, McFarland and Barcom face each other in a Republican primary on August 18th. Attorney Jason Miller is also running for the nomination. The primary winner will face Democrat Drake Buckman in November. Okay, let's do, let me move this a little bit. Um, all right, let's watch this video. This is, this is entertainment. The year is 2020. Chaos reigns on the streets. Anarchy run amok. Law enforcement under attack. Rewind the tape. The year is 2015. Sarasota, Florida. Career politician Donna Barkham is chairing a hearing on whether to amend the county charter to include representation from Sovereign Citizens, a known domestic terrorist organization. The anarchist group notorious for killing cops, for beating cops, for kidnapping cops. Barkham votes yes on the motion. When asked for comment, Barkham says, it sounded like a good idea. Fast forward the tape. Present day. Career politician Donna Barkham is still running for office, this time for the State House. She hopes the public won't remember her past votes endangering Sarasota law enforcement. Donna Barkham, we do remember. Okay, so do I do I think, all right, that this woman um, is a member of the sovereign citizen movement? No. Do I think she, that she pro even has maybe a, like tendencies leaning towards sovereign citizens? Maybe. Okay, probably not. What I think she is, is somebody who is very misinformed and doesn't have good people around her who can tell her what the sovereign citizen movement is in this nonsense that they were putting up to try to become law. Like, how did that get on the table to even be voted on? Again, I don't know how these charters work down in Florida. But wow, the whole thing is a joke. What I like about this story, though, is that it shines a light on the sovereign citizen nonsense. Um, that it, it calls someone out for supporting the sovereign citizen nonsense, which we saw in that civil service guy who was being called out for uh, being a Moorish sovereign citizen and asking all these questions, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's good. I think we're seeing people starting to take a stand against this stuff and uh, clamp down on it. Hopefully, it will help us stamp out the, uh, the brush fire, the dumpster fire that is the sovereign citizen movement. Thank you very much for tuning in to Attorney Audits Agitators. I'm your host, Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. I wrote a book on sovereign citizens. Yeah, it's right here. You can buy it. It's in the, A link is in the description below. Thank you very much for tuning in and have a wonderful day.